Hello friends. So today we are going to discuss a easy problem. It's not too easy. I am just uh, telling you that it's a linked list problem uh, from lead code. It like it states that remove linked list elements. So this type of problem is actually asked a lot in interviews. Not only this, but there are all, like lot of variations on linked list. They are actually asked, and I will also make a couple of video on them so that you can get a clear idea. But I am choosing this problem only because I want to let you explain one. very key important thing which is actually asked in lot of interviews if you are solving or if you are given any question on linked list then this thing like is a like is a like a game changer for you because linked list question is asked in almost 80% interviews okay uh, like we have to be given to solve some type of linked list problem in, in lot of interviews linked list questions are given but this small mistake is actually done by a lot of students i have seen i have also taken some interviews and i have also seen that this like this mistake is actually done by a lot of students so i don't want to uh, like i don't want you to repeat this problem out because i have also uh, been in the same situation so that's why i'm making this video so that if you understand and if you like be with me to the end then you can understand what is the major problem so first we understand what the problem is asking it's actually given that you are given a head of a linked list and you have to remove out all the nodes of the linked list that have a value equal to the value which is given to you and you have to return out the new the linked list as you can see in this problem the linked list is given to you and you have to remove all the nodes which are actually having the value 6 so after removing out this and this you are you are just uh, like remained with this linked list so you have to do this in o of n Which which means that you have to iterate over this whole linked list. So, like you have to in all the linked list problem first try to go from the base condition or like the very simplest condition, the edge cases. Because in linked list there are lot of edge cases. We just think that linked list is very easy. Just have to switch pointers. But the switching point is not too difficult. Coming up with the idea is lot like is the lot more difficult part. So if you understand that, let's zoom that in this linked list. You are pointing to this point, and let's assume that you want, or if you are given uh, five, six, five. If you want to remove this six, this uh, actually this value, how you can do this? Uh, so, in always removing out, you can maintain a previous pointer. You can make a previous pointer. Okay, and it is the and this is the head pointer. Okay, and then what you can do here is just. move the head pointer and the previous pointer is just behind that you just match up head pointer with the value you want to delete you want to delete out 6 and this value is 5 so just move the head pointer to this value it will now point to this and move your previous to the next which is like head which is like this so now your previous is at this point your head is this now you match out this that okay this is the value you want to delete out so we'll move my previous pointer to the next of the head and then this node is like removed so then we just continue out and do the same thing again and again if you just move to the last node also if you have the last node also which is like 5 uh 5 and 6 your you your head is on this your previous is on this your next is actually pointing out to null so if you want to remove out this you just make your previous mark point to the next of the current head and then it's marked to null and that's the answer which is also fine So this condition is also fulfilled. But let's assume that your value you want to delete out is the first one. If you if the node value is the first one you want to delete out, this is like six and five. Now your head is actually pointing out this, but your previous is pointing out to null. Now you cannot do this part because you cannot make your null point to this part. Okay, so this case is the case. Like okay, so what you can do in this problem is, and also as you can see in the example also. If you try to remove out something, maybe let's assume that the whole array is of only seven seven, and you want to delete out that. How you can do that? So, in this case, the the base, the like the basic thing can be just move your head only. Don't just you just initialize your previous. When you find out the first node, which is the node you don't want to delete out, so you just mark your previous or like mark your head. Continue moving that to the next element without updating the previous. when you find out the first element which is not the value you want to delete out i hope you get the point so if you have all the sevens and if you your head is pointed to this you just mark that okay i want to delete out seven just make your head go to the next point next point next point and then go to the next point so it's null you just return out into null 
or else if you have let's assume that seven seven six seven seven so you just mark this okay head go to the next point head go to the next point this is a point this is the point in which as you can see now your head can relax out because this is the value you don't want to delete out so this is the first value you want to make your previous point to the previous element which is null this is head is yes, fine but now because you don't want to delete out this what you actually have to do here is when you move your head to this point your previous actually point to a physical node because this is the previous of head which is actually not deleted out so this is actually previous point you do and if you want to delete this you will mark your previous point to the next of head which is fine you will delete out this and now if you want this is the next if you want to delete out this then you will mark out the previous hot next to the head which is this which is null so just have this node which is fine i hope you understand the logic part now but you might be asking what is difficult in this thing so the difficult or the thing which is actually asked in lot of interviews is you just you just actually move the pointers but you actually do not delete out this node physically okay if you want to like you ha also have to delete down this node physically in the memory space you just move out the pointers and actually like forget to delete out this node this is actually a very important point when you solve a different problem because the problem is solved in o of n you just iterate from left to right which is fine they might be asking the time complexity and the space complexity the space complexity is time complexity is fine because you are just moving from left to right but in space complexity you are not using any extra memory but you are not also freeing this memory out the freeing this memory out is also important because this node will lie around because you just change out these pointers you have not free or release out these memories so you just have to also take care of that which is also asked so that's what we're going to do in this problem what we're going to do first we just move our head we just move our head till it is not null and the head value is equal to the value you want to delete what we'll do we'll first store our delete variable like what is the node we want to delete we want to store this pointer before moving to the next thing so my head is pointed to this i want to delete seven so before going to the next thing i will also mark out a like a temporary pointer to this so that when i go to the next variable or next pointer of this head i will delete out this so i will just store out this head or like delete variable or like a delete pointer of this head move my head to the next variable or next pointer and then delete out this del okay we will do this while loop such that we find out the first uh, node we don't want to delete out okay because then only this while loop will uh, get hold after that we will make our head to a copy head because i don't want to because i want to delete out or actually return out the head of this linked list and if we just move our heads then obviously we just keep lost our head only so we just make a copy head so this is the head of the copy and this is the previous of head copy so this is the head copy and this is the previous of head copy and the previous of head copy is null and the head copy is head only so we'll just do the same thing we just do a while loop we just keep on iterating such that my head copy doesn't become null okay if my head copy value the current just assume that this is the head only if my head copy is equal to if it is not equal to the value we just move to the next element so what how we can move that we just move my head to the next element and also we'll move by previous so we first move our previous and then the head so my so my previous will before moving my head i will move my previous to the head and then my head go to the next element else if you want to delete that element because that element is the value we want to delete what we'll do we'll first obviously store that particular pointer into some variable because we want to delete that out then we will make our head of the copy move to the next variable and the head like the previous element move to the head variable so because what we actually have to do here is because if you want to delete out this node my head will go to this variable and the previous will point to this variable so that's what we've done and then we have to delete that node out and in the end like the actual head is actually the starting of this linked list so you can pause this video out you can like uh, like see this code here so if you have any doubts you can mention down stay tuned for more videos i'll see you next one till then keep coding and bye